Good afternoon, everyone. Farmers Almanac calling for a colder winter than last year, basing their forecast on sunspots. Less sunspots, colder. This is the Solar Cycle 25 and 26 forecast. Confirmation first, UK snow of the season. Snowpack still left on Ben Nevis, but it doesn't look like it's going to melt because zero Celsius is the freezing point. Same thing happening in Squaw Valley, snowpack left from last year. Coldest September 16th ever measured in Amsterdam. And while going through the news feed, this is the Matterhorn, August 11th. I didn't know it snowed then. Sweden also August snow, August 16th. September 13th, Greenland a toasty, minus 34C. Chicago 11th, coolest in the last 146 years. San Antonio, new record cold. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can stay subscribed and get the latest updates. The Old Trusted Farmer's Almanac, 1792, this publication began. And among the ways that they predict future temperatures, they use sunspots. The more sunspots, the warmer it is, the less sunspots, the cooler it is. This is the winter outlook 2017-18, colder than last year based on the sunspot count. And then let's just take that out over the next 20 years where we go back to maunder minimum type sunspot count. Grand solar minimum on the way. First snow of the season, September 14th, Ben Nevis. And the Twitter feeds guessing which one of these is going to melt off first. They predict it likely to go next week. And I said, maybe if the temperatures were above zero, possibly. But right now, that zero is 32 Fahrenheit. Zero C is 32 Fahrenheit. That's a freezing temperature. Not going anywhere right now. Also, Squaw Valley, snow from last winter still sticking around. This is August 10th image here. Let's jump to September 11th. There's still snow up there. They're predicting this to stay until the next snows arrive in a couple weeks. Snowing in Montana. And I know a lot of you will say, well, it snows every year in Montana. It could snow at any time, just like the Rocky Mountains. But snow a month early when they're trying to claim the warmest year ever. Eh, that just doesn't mix too well. It's kind of like oil and water. Grand solar minimum and global warming. Oil and water. San Antonio, Texas, new record low temperature, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, broke the old record. And the reason I picked this, 1968. We keep seeing this overlap of the late 1960s breaking records across Europe as well and over in Asia. So it looks like we're set to repeat a 1960s cooling winter this winter. The Great Blizzard of Chicago, 1967, that exact same time frame. And here we are, Chicago's cool September. At least 10 Fahrenheit below normal, making it the 11th coolest in the last 146 years. Hey, wait, wasn't there supposed to be global warming and it's supposed to get warmer there? I guess not. Grab a little screen grab from the larger image there. 5 to 10 Fahrenheit below normal temperatures. They're getting the Indian summer just like it is up in Canada, but the temperatures are expected to fall unseasonably cold within the next eight days. Speaking of cold, let's jump on to the Greenland Summit. Minus 34 degrees Celsius, nice and toasty up there. Over to Europe, Amsterdam, coldest September 16th ever measured. Broke the old record, 13.4 degrees, 1972. Huh, we get right back into that same time frame, late 60s, early 70s. Average temps should be around 18 C for the high in the day, not 12. Switzerland, the beautiful Matterhorn. Well, covered in snow. This is August 11th. I found this while I was searching through these stories in Twitter. I did not know it snowed this much August 11th. So I thought I'd bring it to your attention. European snowfalls in August. How deep was that? Well, let's take a look here. I couldn't find it on my news feed, and suddenly here it is. This is August 11th snowfall. The depth, approximately six inches. Zermatt, Switzerland. But I thought snow was supposed to be a thing of the past. 
Al Gore guaranteed us Arctic ice and snow were things of the past, yet here we are. August 11th, snows in Switzerland. And then, first snowfall in Sweden in August 16th. Sweden, summer snowfall again. I guess we can count on Al Gore and all these forecasts from the IPCC to be correct. We have summer snow in Sweden. I use Google Translate right there. First snow in Sweden. In the summer has fallen in Kiruna. Images here for you of the snowfall on the mountain. Nice, that CO2 is creating all this snow. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.